Elorsifen is, yeah. I don't know why, but it's just jumped up in popularity over the past couple of years. Have you noticed? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Lidza Chi, her biggest selling uh, brand is Elorsifen thing. Yeah. Um, that, that whole, um, she's too Chinese looking to be, to represent China thing I did like a couple of weeks ago. She was promoting um, the three squirrels, Lawsif and stuff. Let me explain what it is. Yeah. Since I eat it quite often. Yeah. You, you love snail noodles. It's, they're pretty good. Snail um, powder. So basically, it's a dish from Guangxi. And it's, uh, it's made with snails, right? Mm -hmm. River snails. Yeah. And they grind them up, basically, yeah. to make like a powder. It sounds gross. But it's, yeah. it's just a... It's like a sour spicy soup with noodles in it yeah even I, I hate the idea of eating snails but i but even think good, it tastes good fine. you know what i really hate is when you're in guangdong you get those little black snails they've got like it's thousands like of them food. in it and they're like they're so hard sucking, to suck out sucking this oh and i can't i can't i don't oh, eat really? that i, I just, eat it but oh, it's very no. annoying it's like dirt in there you know it's a little dirty it's like but there's it's they're so small and they're insignificant. so small that's the so, problem i have yeah. i don't mind snails i eat I mean, snails but i'd rather eat guadza at that point yeah yeah it's kind of like guadza, you get more nutrition yeah so anyway yeah there's right. this dish just from some from guangxi guangxi and mm -hmm. guangxi is a you know southern province and it became famous for this lossifen which yeah. is snail noodles now S snail powder noodles snail yeah. powder noodles so anyway yeah. um the thing is, it became a uh, worldwide phenomenon amongst the diaspora in China yes. as well. My wife gets it all the time. Your mm -hmm. wife gets it all yeah, the time. My, my I wife loves it, all, it, yeah, my I ate it the other day. Yeah. It's a worldwide phenomenon right now, and it's it's good. Yeah, I like Luosifen. It tastes better than Guilin Mi Fen to me. Yeah, Guilin Mi Fen's a bit more bland. It's super bland. But anyway, mm. long story short, the uh, uh, NPR journalist yeah. wanted to go see what the hype was about, right? Yes. I like NPR, actually. I, I listen to NPR. It's very, it's quite bland. What does it stand for? National Public Radio. Okay. So it's quite bland, but they do good journalism. They're very factual. Okay. Right? So they do these human uh, human stories sometimes, human interest stories, and they send out their journalists. Now, this journalist, um, I'm going to pull up, pull up uh, her Emily article. Zhang. Emily Zhang, yeah. Oh, you have her here, yeah. yeah. Uh, Emily Fung. Her name oh, is. It, oh, Fung. Why did it say John? Oh, sorry, because it's Emily Z. Fung, and I just read it like in the corner of my eyes. No so worries, no worries. Emily Fung. So Fung Leba. Yeah. <laughs> so she's not Fung. She's no. a, does good work. So she yeah. went. She wanted to see what the hype was about. Yeah. So she goes to Guangxi to see what the the source of the the snail noodles are. Sure. Now they're famous for being pretty smelly. Right, because they're, I mean, it's made of snails, right? Sure. Snail powder. It's like snail fer powder. It's fermented, right? Yeah, fermented snail powder. It so, sounds terrible. It, it, but it tastes good. Yeah, it tastes good. It does good. taste good. It's I, very savory. I'll, I'll agree with you. It tastes very good. Very sour, right? Vinegary. I hate the idea of it, but I still it's, think it tastes good. good. Yeah. yeah. So she wanted to go see that, and people in China says, oh, it smells bad, but it tastes good. Typical, yeah. it's like kimchi, right? Like smells chou bad. tofu. Yeah, or chou tofu, or smelly tofu, stinky yeah. tofu, which, which I ate the other day. I ate the other day. The Taiwanese kind is the best. Yeah. Um. So she wants to go there and do it. Isn't so, it illegal to carry it in an elevator or something yeah, in Taiwan? So, something like that. You're not allowed yeah. to take it in an elevator. You can, and it's you like can't a, have durian as well. Yeah, in yeah. an elevator. So like, you may not. Trains. Yeah, And yeah, you have to go up the stairs. If you, you have to go up the stairs, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which I get. It yeah, smells I'm, horrendous. I'm glad. It like shit. Yeah, it, it does. It tastes, it's great. It tastes great, though. Yeah, stinky tofu. Uh, yeah. So anyway, mm. she wants to go here to see the uh, the origin of smelly noodles, basically. Right. We call them, a lot of people call it stinky noodles. Stinky that's noodles, like a yeah. thing. Yeah, that's my really, wife calls it stinky yeah, noodles. Yeah, that's, that's a thing. Do you want to yeah. have some stinky noodles? Yeah, my wife yeah. as well. Mm. It's kind of a colloquial thing. There's no hate there. No. It's what Chinese people call it. They, and they stink. And they stink bad. Yeah. And people are like, oh, I got to open the window, you know, and eat and stinky noodles or lots yeah. of fun. So she goes there and she writes a very, very nice article about it, right? Yeah. She goes and writes this article and um, I, I recommend you guys check it out. It's incredibly fair. There is yeah. nothing weird or offensive about the article at all. It's factual. It's talking about the craze of stinky noodles. She yeah. doesn't say it's gross. Nope. She doesn't say anything bad about it. But when she was there, it says the story is you can you can read. Okay, I'll read this. <clears throat> so this is her tweet. There's a couple of tweets we're going to go through here because it's probably best you just hear what she had to say. Sure. She said this story has generated vitriolic backlash in China, and reporting it turned out to be more difficult than I imagined. Um, okay, so she says last year we lined up interviews with factories and government noodle officials. Yes, they exist. Because, yeah, government noodle officials do exist. You have to have an official for everything. Don't forget, there are a lot of people in China, so they need to generate jobs, right? Yeah. Um, so she says, the, enti the entirely private factories told us later they, in fact, needed provincial propaganda department approval to do an interview. Here we go. 
By the way, remember these shills that go around and do things and say, oh, we're not connected to the government. Seriously. Eh, this is great, great evidence for this, by the way. Something yeah. we already knew, but it's nice to see someone other than Remember us. the whole vegetable dance thing? It's with... all through the propaganda department. If yeah. you see any of these foreign YouTubers in China doing this stuff, it is put on by the Chinese propaganda department. Yeah, that's right. It I is. Mean, yeah. Floppy hat vegetable lord yeah. and all those people doing their thing, trying to deny it's connected to the government. Come on, guys. We're smarter than that. Maybe you aren't. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so the entirely private factories told us later they in fact needed provincial propaganda department approval to do any interview. This is not true. China's own laws from its state council say foreign journalists merely need interviewee consent. And then she links like a, she cites, has a citation for that. Soon, Guanxi propaganda officials called me and offered to accompany us on a snail noodle tour. I politely declined. Within literally an hour, every single factory and government official who'd agreed to an interview had cancelled on us. Sadly, this is the norm these days. Okay. So, I mean, do you understand, if you're not accompanied by a government official, they're not going to allow it to happen. Right. Which is what happens with these shills. Uh, we, we can tell briefly, this is story is so, uh, mirrors our story oh, so, yeah. so much when we film stuff. But anyway, yeah. keep going. So, you know... You need to have a government minder, basically, to make sure that you don't report the wrong thing or say the wrong thing, you see? And so as soon as she said, no, that's okay, I just want to go by myself, the government forced all the different people that had agreed to do an interview to cancel the interview. Okay, so she said, <clears throat> we were not de deterred. After all, I love snail noodles. As do we. Mm. So I went to Guanxi with NPR World and had a great time and talked to lovely people. As it usually is. Yes. Here's how some Chinese outlets reacted anti-china foreign citizen of china's chinese descent infiltrates guangxi <laughs> okay that's an official article yes. on uh, si uh yeah all right <clears throat> in other words they put out all these articles saying that she's this anti-chinese foreign citizen of chinese descent Isn't i'll read i'll read through the article after you finish yeah it okay the anti-chinese yeah, yeah. we've got to hear this by the way have you noticed how um when there's a chinese person like What's the snowboarder? Okay, What's this that? is... This oh, Amer I'll talk about that. Okay, we'll talk news. about it. But when there's a, a, an American or an Eileen Australian Gu. Chinese yeah. person who's doing something that China likes, uh, wants to use, yeah. use for themselves, suddenly they're Chinese. Yeah. Even if they don't even... Even if they weren't born in China, even if they don't have any kind of Chinese passport or anything. But this Chinese uh, American... Okay, it's suddenly an anti-China foreign citizen of Chinese descent. Okay, yeah. see how they, they, yeah. they make them foreigners now. Yes. Okay, yes. when it suits them. Only when it suits them. Only when it suits them. Okay, so she says, actually, I take that back. We had a great time in Guangxi, except for the police checks at 1 a.m. every night from unmasked officers for COVID control, plain clothes following us, filming us, and at one point effectively locking one of our interviewees in his office. This is something we're very familiar with. And not only for our film, but when I was in Guangxi filming the Yulin Dog Meat Festival, I had literally had spy-ass plainclothes officers following me everywhere. Yeah. Making sure we didn't do anything. They, they cock-blocked us from every single thing in the whole city. Yeah. And this is what happens. They get super paranoid when you're not even doing anything wrong. I know. You know, you yeah. could be there to tell a good story, which like we, were for, and we were for Conquering Northern China. We only wanted to show... The best, it was most only positive, positive things about China. But they, they, tried kicked, to shut us they down. basically, tr they made us ultimately leave China. Yeah. Because they showed the true colors of what they think about you. Yeah. You're like, hey, this this restaurant's great. I'm really enjoying this food. Then somebody, the chef over here is you and he's like, oh, yeah? Oh, and yeah? comes and dumps cockroaches in your plate. Yes. That's pretty much That's what it yeah. is. And it's like, dude, well, fuck you. Then. Yeah, exactly. All right. So yeah. anyway, she goes on. She says, anywho. Today, there are numerous state pieces, including from the Guangzhou Provincial Daily, on my apparent hatred for Chinese food and a nefarious plot to smear China through snail noodles. All right, which is ridiculous, because once again, so all the, the media, including the big media, like the Guangzhou Provincial Daily, which is a big uh, outlet, are saying that she's trying to smear China through uh, snail noodles. Yeah, she finishes it off by saying, like, it was a fun story. And let me read you, I want to read you what the article, yeah. this is the state media so article. Th this is a state media article, okay. It says, anti-Chinese Chinese, Yeah. right, infiltrated Guangxi, China, grave digging, yin yang strange snail powder, and someone spoke for her. That's a bad translation. What that means is, like, a Chinese person 
that mm-hmm. actually is American. Yeah, so not actually really Chinese. Right. Yeah. Just, just that hates China. China. Descent, yeah. That's like hey Zhong Guo basically. Yeah, yeah. Came and infiltrated Guangxi to like cause shit. Yeah. To stir up shit, right? Yeah. It says recently the anti Chinese China media seem to have to rack their brains and can't find any material to make China look bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they actually regard snail powder, like snail noodles, yes. as like uh uh media or uh, is a type of a good, a story, way, a good, a good way, way to, to make, make China, China look, look bad. bad. <laughs> yeah. That's that's what they said. They basically said yeah. they had to find they ran out of stuff to, to make China look bad. So they found that snail noodles that are so popular, yeah. this is something they stoop to that level. Yeah. That's basically the language that they're saying. Right. Um, for many people, they say that like uh, loosafen, this kind of noodle, smells bad but tastes good, just like durian. Right? Yeah. Um, therefore, although some people can't accept it, right? They can't, they can't handle it. There's still lots of loyal fans of, of course. this, right? So that's basically what she's saying in her article. Yeah, right. this is actually the article. Yeah. Um, oh, this is the anti. Yeah, yeah I'm, tra- this is, I'm trying this, to translate this, is, this on this the fly. The, yeah, this is the article that we're talking uh, about. So it says like it says her name uh, in Chinese, by by the way, because they want this is what they do when they want to make an enemy out of a Chinese person that's a traitor. Yeah. Right. Like, oh, she's she's supposed to be on our side about this. Yeah. But she's not even writing anything against snail yeah. noodles. That's the thing. She was. She's supporting it. Yeah. And she had a great time yeah. talking to the locals. It's exactly the same thing happened. It always gets spoiled by the government. We have a great yeah. time with the locals, have some drinks, food, make lifelong friends. Yeah. And then the local P- a PSB will show up and be like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. What are you doing here? And we're like, what the hell? Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. So it says, um, she says, uh, in her description of the noodles, she said, it's mostly fermented and the snail noodles are the worst of them all. <laughs> okay. At the beginning of the article, the reporter says that lots of people that want to find crazy and weird or like unpleasant and things ridiculous and ridiculous things, things to, to eat. eat. Yeah. So she's saying, or their state media is saying that she is saying that only crazy like people that try to be adventurous and find yeah. bad shit to eat. Yeah, yeah, would have this. Saying. Yeah. Then she uh, described the smell of of the the what's it called the noodles losofen mm-hmm. as s- smelly bamboo. That's with been the, fermented. With stench. Yeah, the stench of smelly bamboo that's been fermented for weeks. Yeah. Um, and the um, the source of the snail powder is linked to fossils that they found in, oh yeah, it's in Liuzhou, yeah. Yeah. Um, 25,000 years ago. Mm-hmm. So anyway, um, they basically accuse her of playing word games yeah. to make the snail p- powder noodles seem so disgusting. Yeah. Then they say, let's take a look at uh, her masterpiece together. Right. By the way, this is state media. When I say state media, I think it's it's just approved by the state. It's not yeah, necessarily course. written by the state. Um, well, there the, the were a state media like the Guangzhou, um, you know, the Guangzhou Provincial Daily. That is proper state Oh, media. you're right. No, there was state yeah, media involved. I apologize. I'm trying, this is just like... I'm a, like running defense to the CCP. No, here. you can't. This, no. this is all 100% the state is just running defense. Because here's the thing. I believe they thought that she was going to go there to write something bad because she did not that, want the government. I, I want to get into that in a second. Yeah. So uh, they go on to say like, um, there's lot tens of millions of fans that blog about this disgustingly de- delicious snack, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and what she means is that Chinese people really like this disgusting stuff. Yeah, Chinese oh, people like disgusting what? things. Are you calling your own dish disgusting, basically? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they're going to paint her as a Chinese person. Oh, well, I mean, right, yeah, they're saying, the way they're saying. Is that, that, that's yeah. what they're saying. Yeah, anyway. Um, she the, she quoted a local by saying, I eat snail noodles like uh, once every day. And the taste is really good for, it's, it's how do you have to say what? Like uh, suitable, right. suitable for Guangxi people, right? Only, yeah. Um, it's sour and spicy. Once you get used to it, you don't notice like the offensive smell mm-hmm. anymore. Um, so they go on and they basically go about how, excuse me, they they link this to how foreign media was talking about how Chinese people eat bats. They somehow link it to that, which is not mentioned in her article at all. No, of course not. Um, and then they go on to talk about racism and the pandemic and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. And then so they, they go, say that she's a well-known she's a, anti-China professional. Yeah, that's like what she's good at is like to slander China. what they China. say about us. Yeah, it's the same. Mm. You get painted with this brush even if you're a fair journalist. I mean, she literally did a, a, a thing about food, about a specific food and how much Pro- she enjoyed promoting it. Promoting it. Yeah. <laughs> so they go on and they talk mm. about um, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, long story short, 
it's a huge smear article against her. And they keep putting these pictures of her uh, in there. And I wanted to read some of the comments. Okay, you got okay. some of the comments. Okay. Uh, again, this is tough. I have to, like, on the fly translate this. It says, um, people like her betray, or sorry, forget their ancestors and they betray their country and they've lost any sense of shame. Keep in mind, this is an article promoting snail noodles yes. about how much she likes them, even though that some people think they're stinky. Yes. As long as you're an American, um, you can uh, you can insult her casually. Mm-hmm. It it is estimated that this rubbish woman, yeah, la, la yeah, yeah, will not um, resist and will be particularly cooperative. No, basically what they're saying is that yeah. you can just undress her and do what you want because she's a piece of because trash. Because she's a piece of she's trash. She's a slut. Right. She's a slut. That's, that's the do, proper translation to, of that. They tend to do that. They always do that. Whenever there's a woman that's at the, you know, the ire, somehow stokes the ire of the nationalists, right. they will go after her as a woman. Yes. You know, yes. and call her like a... They did that with Vicky Shu and all yeah, these other people. Yeah. They call them sluts and promiscuous right. and all this. They did that with those freaking Uyghur women that women, were, yeah, were like, oh victims. my God, we've been raped. They're like, no, they're just like sleep around sluts. You know what I mean? Isn't After that they just... put Chinese Han, Chinese men in their home and yeah. force them to have sex with them. Yeah, yeah. No, they're just sluts, according yeah. to Chinese media. Um, this person says, actually a sad person. <laughs> this person says, the this uh, like uh, problem is developed by ugly people. Okay, they're calling, they're her ugly, calling her ugly. Basically, calling her ugly. Yeah. Um, this person says, "Fuck! How can this fake foreign bitch be even speak Ren human Hua? words? Like, human yeah, words. Yeah, like like Ren, Ren Hua is, is Chinese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say <laughs> you get that sometimes. They say Shua Ren Hua. Ren Hua. If me it's and like... Winston are like we're walking down the street and we're talking, some nationalists will be like Shua Ren Hua. Yeah, if we're talking in English, it very seldom happens. That means but... speak human. Yeah, it's like speak Chinese. Yeah, Ren Hua <laughs> means people language. Yeah, speak Ren Hua. <laughs> we sometimes we say that. Now. Yeah, I know we do, but not against Chinese. We yeah. say it like because we, we want to switch to Chinese. Yeah, we exactly. call it Ren Hua as well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Guangxi running dog. <laughs> they love this dog thing. Uh, yeah. Running dog. I yes. love this. Yeah, running dog. Um, why? And this person says, "Why are people like this not arrested?" Yes. Why are they not arrested? Yeah. I oh. mean, this is like absolutely insane. Yeah. And really, I I have to stress, like, you have to understand how nice this article is in NPR. Yeah. And she doesn't even go back to like address this bullshit that she had to go through. Yeah. She's very diplomatic about this. So props to her. I mean, I feel super bad. But again, it's something we've run into so many times. See how insecure China is? Yeah. I mean, the Chinese government and the, and Chinese people, if you look at the comments. So I have a theory. Yeah. And again, I think you touched on this. And mm. Tell me if you agree. I think this, this smear against her, I'm going to speak in smear. English over here. Yeah. This smear campaign against her, yeah. I actually think might have been preemptive, coming mm. out of like... Uh, the the preemptive paranoia that when she was there yeah so they're like oh this woman's gonna make this article yeah can't do anything about it because she's like got kind of i don't know if it's diplomatic community or whatever well, she's, but she's like a she's a journalist she's yeah. allowed to go talk about this but and, and it's not a government thing so no. if it was a government thing they could stop oh, they her. could do whatever they, they want. do whatever but yeah. she's literally wants to go and um interview restaurants yeah. and factories that make noodles right 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 that's what she yeah. wants yeah so yeah, when they when they said okay, let's we will accompany you, you know, just like they accompany the shills to go dance with the vegetables or whatever. Yeah. We'll take you to meet the right people. You're going to meet and talk to this guy specifically right. because Which that's is what they our always interest. try to yeah. do. So that's what they tried to do, and she's like, no, it's okay. She's Chinese, remember? She can speak the language perfectly. She can do whatever she wants. Okay, she looks yeah. the same. She doesn't stand out like a a, a big dumb foreigner. So right. you know, like a blonde she can, tall guy. Yeah, she can go do what she wants. So then they're like, hang on a second. If she's not going to be uh, led around by us, then she's probably got an ulterior motive. So we better like you whip know, this up yeah, in defense. Make sure that we. So now take she's care of enemy of the state. Yeah. For God's sakes. For making a, a an article about how she enjoys these noodles. It's ridiculous. And yeah. again, it's not that ridiculous because we saw this, and this is under Xi Jinping. Yeah. Uh, we saw this deteriorate. You can have the greatest intentions, even go just go to meet a friend who knows someone. Yeah. Oh, a friend has a ranch or something. Yeah. A friend knows a Mongolian guy that'll, that wants to talk to you and like he can hang out and do horse stuff with him. Yeah. Nope. Because it wasn't run by the state and the PLA shows up. Yeah. Takes apart all your gear. 
yells at you, takes your photos, and then comes back and keeps harassing you throughout sure. your trip, even though you went to go freaking milk a horse. Yeah, exactly. That sounds bad. But literally, we went to go... Remember how pissed off that guy was? Because, yes. like, there's this Mongolian guy. He's a pretty big guy. He's got this big yeah. knife and everything, and he's milking a horse. Yeah. And it literally looks like he's jerking the horse sure. off, okay? And this white stuff coming out. So we had a bit of a giggle. And yeah. he turned around. He's like, it was real what bad. the hell are you laughing at? We, we, you know what I mean? We're like, nothing, no, nothing. No. He was a cool you guy, could, He was a great guy. But you could tell he was about to kick our asses. You know what I mean? <laughs> he would kick yeah, our asses. Yeah, ass, totally. Dude. Anyway, yeah. Um you got to see how stupid and insecure they are. China would have such good PR with the rest of the world. Oh my gosh. And if we they would have just, kept going doing it too. Yeah, if they would just stop being such assholes. Stop. Calm down. Not yeah. everyone's out to get you. And you know what happens though is that people end up getting inspired to talk about the bad stuff because yeah. it is getting way worse. Yeah. And we honestly, I, we wouldn't have self-censored forever yeah. because of the morality involved with that. But like when we're going around doing motorcycle trips and we're actually just... We don't want anything to do with the government. Sure. We just want to make friends. Yeah. We want to talk to people, eat food, hang out. And that's what we did. And show and we the, the positive greatest, sides of China. And greatest we were. times in our life. They literally had to beat that out of us. Yeah. They had to, they had to make us hate it. Yeah. Not they the had, people. Yeah, they had the to experience. Take, take that experience of us trying to share the good parts about China and, and punish us for that. Over and over again until we said, okay, fine. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, well, you want Loves you want off. us to talk about the the, sh the, the shit bad part? stuff. That's time now. Yeah, because that's what you expect from us anyway, right? Yeah. Anyway, there there you can see a picture of um, Emily Emily Fung, and um, this was in the article, and then the comments were, of course, underneath this article, just saying how disgusting she is and what a yeah. I apologize slut she for my sloppy and, translation. I you know, should have done it prior to this, but yeah. Um, the fact of the matter is it's just disgusting behavior and it just shows you that when you try to play nice with the Communist Party of China, with Communist China, you get slapped in the face. Yes. Pretty much. Yeah. That's Wu Mao Corner for you. Yeah. It's so paranoid right now. It's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Wait, we've got, a, we've got some of the... These are some of the comments oh, we were yeah. translating right. earlier. So for those of you who can read and write Chinese, you can see the kind of stuff that's being written there. Right. Um, by the way, if you see MD, it means mada. It means like fuck. Yeah, basically. And... Or sh NMS, yeah, NMSL, Nimasala means your mother's. <laughs> I think everyone knows kill that. Kill your one. mother, you know. Yeah. You, I hope your mother dies as Nimasala. You see that a lot. Mm. We call it Nimasalese if somebody speaks, you know, is, is basically swearing, you know. P Paneri boy, of course. Paneri boy. <laughs> oh, the fair rabbit child, piano boy. <laughs> 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 Crocodile. <laughs> okay. New Bailan era. New Bunren. YG. New Bailun. New Bailun loop. New Bailun loop. You buy one pair. You get three pairs for free. So <laughs> it can't be very good. <laughs> you mean Aglo device? Aglois. Aglois. This is the blessing from gods. <laughs> this is the blessing from gods. You cannot yeah. get alcohol at Taco Bell. People are getting blown away by Taco Bell being on a plate. Changing a <laughs> bunch of keys in this thing and go. <laughs> you know what I mean.